Well, we have been showing you a lot lately about the exploding deer population on Vancouver Island, and nowhere is it more of an issue than it is in North Nanaimo. That's where a couple is asking the people to stop feeding the deer in their neighborhood, and they have good reason. Hey, news reporter Brent Shearer shows us why and joins us now in our Nanaimo newsroom. Brent. Hudson, the Stovall family is still in shock after a deer crashed through a window into their basement, badly cutting itself. The animal then proceeded to leave a grisly trail of destruction. And a warning, some of the images in this story may not be suitable for all members of your family. The Stovalls are getting a new couch, new carpets for their entire basement, so this is from this and new windows after a deer tore through their house. Really frightening, really, really frightening. At first you're not really sure what's happening, but when you realize there's a wild animal in your home, and we didn't know how big it was, I didn't know if it, you know, could get upstairs. Uh, it, was, it was really, really scary, actually. And looking at pictures taken afterwards, you can see why. It looks like a crime scene out of a slasher flick. There is blood and destruction everywhere. Yeah, I'd say it was frightening, um, shocking. Um, that was obviously a bit of a freak accident. Just down here. A neighbor's dog had chased a frightened deer along the side of the Stovall's house. Seeing a dead end, the deer crashed through the basement window, badly cutting itself. He came through here. The animal then ran through the basement, spilling blood onto the carpet. It tried to get out another window, but only wound up cutting itself even more. Eventually, it found a way out, but the deer had lost a lot of blood and died on the grass. That's no way for any animal to, to die. It must have been terribly frightened and in shock and, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not something you'd want to, to have happen to a deer. There are a lot of deer in the Stovall's neighborhood, so many that on average more than 30 are hit by vehicles every month. The deer love to chow down on garden shrubs and plants and some people are feeding the animals, which the Stovalls say is creating a big problem. I think that it would be important, in my personal opinion, that we stop sort of in artificially inflating their numbers. Um, I think that we feed them on a far too regular basis. I, I, would, I would like there to be a bylaw of some kind to prevent that from happening. That's something the city of Nanaimo is now considering, a bylaw that would make feeding deer a chargeable offence. So many deer are dying, so I don't see how that's really um, helping the deer by feeding them and keeping them in the neighborhood because more and more of them are getting hurt all the time, whether it's a dog or a, a person or a vehicle. This was a freak incident that the Stovalls will never forget and hope never happens again. The city of Nanaimo may be discussing that bylaw prohibiting people from feeding wildlife as soon as the end of this month. However, the trouble council is facing is where do they draw the line? Could someone giving pigeons bread be fined or people feeding wild birds with seed for that matter? But as the city's mayor tells me, the rising deer population is an issue council wants to address as soon as possible. Hudson? All right, Brent, you're reporting. Brent, thank you. Thank you.